Welcome to our studio. I'm John Littleton. Come on in. Hi, I'm Kate Vogel. John and I have been collaborating for a number of years. Come on in. We'd like to show you our studio today. So let's look around a little bit. There's a little bit of work from all sorts of series. These are some of our early pieces here on the shelves. They go back to the 1980s. Some more contemporary pieces that we've done. This is a piece about time. And as you look around the studio, you'll start seeing that there's a lot of prints on the walls. These prints are from John's father's studio. There's a few of Dad's pieces as well. Some of our early bags. And here's some of our series of the Clarity Imprisoned. These are cast blocks with life castings incorporated into them. And our photo stand, some more of the prints. And you can see our hands and gem pieces. some of the spiral series that we made. So the prints that are on the walls were made in Harvey's studio over maybe a 25 year period of time. He had a master printer in his studio that worked full time and he invited artists from all over the world. There were 700 editions run by over a hundred different artists. Here's one of our hands and gem pieces. The gem element is held in realistic cast hands and that layering inside represents potential and energy for us. Come on into our gallery and we'll show you some of the new pieces we're working on. This piece is blue beginning or excuse me, the in-between. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a space in between the upper and lower part. We've been really interested in how we can use lighting in the pieces to actually help carry your eye between the different spaces and that the lighting will carry your eye down to that space again. And these layers are reminiscent from our cut gem pieces where you have layer after layer inside. This is another new piece that we've done, Red Planet. It has openings cut into the hemispheres so that you can catch glimpses of the spheres inside. Sometimes they line up. As you walk around the room, you can see some of the other pieces we've done. We've worked on a number of series. Here's one of our pieces from the Ikebana series, our Vessel for the Soul, another Ikebana. There's a direct connection between the pieces, even if it's not always obvious. You can see one of our flower pieces here where it's actually held in the hands, like some of the earlier pieces you were looking at. They happen to be our daughter's hands. We think they're really beautiful. And here we have another Vessel for Your Soul piece. Some of our tables and side lights. Pieces. Here's some of our one of our rock pieces from the rock series with this inclusion in here. 
It's cast glass. Then we have a case full of models and some of our older work. This is also our office area here. And then our print storage, which we have quite a bit of. We have a lot of prints from Harvey Studio. And then here on the table, we have just a few pieces from our some public art proposals that we're working on. Some samples and a model. So this is our coal working area here, cutting and grinding wheels to diamond saws. You can see here's a number of pieces that we've been working on. Um, one that's how it would come when we finish blowing it. They might look like this and then a piece like this is turned into one like this with all the surfaces cut and ground on it. So we usually have a lot of different projects going on in our studio, so you can see parts to all sorts of things. The shelves are filled with all of the spheres that we blew in January and February when the furnace was on, parts for some of the larger pieces that we're working on. We have parts for some cast pieces we're working on where we're thinking about making some things that will actually go on the seats. And then come on into our mold making room and I'll show you some of the things that we've done in here as well. This is the space that we do mold making in, modeling. It also ends up being a collection space for all the different projects we're working on. You can see here some of the spheres that have been sawn in half as we start thinking about the colors that we're going to be using for the different layers and making a piece. Here's different models. You can see some of the models that we have for looking at, we consider these like a sketch for looking at what a large piece might look like. Here's another one here. With some of these pieces, we've actually been thinking about them as each one of these spheres as an energy or point. Just like stars in the sky, we use our eyes to connect a constellation. And here we've used these lines in the metal to connect the different energies in the piece. Here we're laying out the basics for one of the uh, spheres and pipe pieces. And you can see here that this piece, if you were sawing them in half, each color would go in one layer inside to the other. Another project we're working on, we have some waxes laid out here and we're thinking about what sort of flowers and parts might go into it. So you can see we have quite a few things going on all at once. But come on in, I'll show you where our blowing room is. Our furnace is not on right now, but it will give you a sense of what that space is, looks like. And when we're not doing um, glass blowing in here, it's also the place that we do welding and other work. So here's our hot shop. It's become a multi-purpose room. You can see our welders out because we've been doing welding lately. Here's our furnace. It's set up with a big clear pot for blowing glass. We've had it set up with three pots inside for pouring. It's off right now, but it gives you a sense of what it looks like. And here's the glory hole, which is only on for while we're working and reheating. We have a lot of ovens in the studio. Sometimes the pieces take weeks or months to cool. So we use our ovens for both casting and blowing. And there's more metalworking equipment, the bench. All of our buckets covered with plastic right now. <laughs> and our marver that's also covered with plastic. <laughs> and that's most of the hot shop. 